Back in February I went to the Leading Change Adding Value Conference where I'd already initiated the idea of good mouth care but I'd never actually had the nerves to push it. Speaking to people there it made me realise that it doesn't matter who you are within the trust, you can always make change. I wanted to improve the way that we perform mouth care here in the trust to try and reduce the risk of chest infection. Coming back from the conference I firstly approached my ward management she is very, very approachable anyway, so I'm probably quite lucky in that sense. Um, she fully supports me in everything that I want to do. I told her all my amazing ideas of what I wanted to achieve, and she said just go with it, and anything that we needed to kind of like trial, that she'd be happy, more than happy for us to trial here on Farley. Era started in the trust in July 2015, and from, from her interview, she's shown real enthusiasm and passion for nursing at that very first level. Throughout her time on the ward, she's been passionate, enthusiastic, determined, committed, all she wants to be as a nurse, and I'm, I'm there to support her in every way that I can. On the stroke unit, patients are higher at risk of a chest infection, and that's because they depend on you for oral hygiene. They're high risk for aspiration, so if they, say, have a drink and then it goes down the wrong way, then they aspirate, and that's because of the poor swallow from the stroke. And a lot of people don't actually realise that not brushing teeth can create a chest infection. So I looked at the equipment that we have, and if we could improve the equipment, then we could improve the mouth care and reduce the risk of chest infection. I'm very, very, very passionate, and a lot of it began around dignity of patients, around how the patient would feel from not having the mouth cleaned or teeth brushed or even dentures removed for 24 hours, 48 hours sometimes. It doesn't matter what band, what level you are, to be able to have the encouragement support from your leader just shows how far you can go. The first steps within my campaign was to produce some posters. I figured that if I started right at the beginning, little steps, little bits at a time. So I had a poster designed. I designed some awareness cards so then staff could keep them in the back of their ID badges. Just little prompts really, just, just to help them. Mouth care champions, I've developed little mouth care badges, little toothbrushes on them for the champions. Lots of research. Positive outcomes would be better mouth care within the trust. I think that's, that was my main thing to get across. Patients have also said to me that they're amazed at how mouth care has developed and how they do get asked more regular. I think it just improves better patient care overall. So one of the things that I want to look at is if we are making an impact, we know that there is a link between mouth care and pneumonia, but we need to look at are the numbers going to be reduced in the future? So I'm going to look at four months this year after lots of training, lots of good mouth care within the trust, and then look at the same four months next year to see if we can look at, see if there is a reduce in numbers. She goes off to other wards, other wards ring and want her to go and show them what that she's, she's learnt. Um, she does teaching for all the new healthcare assistants that come into the trust. It's just started and I think we've got a whole way to go really.